Hey guys, happy Wednesday. And this is the last week of our multi-part kind of hybrid strength. We'll be rotating between four movements today. We have three barbell movements and one body, body weight movement. So uh, first barbell movement is the strict press. So this should be light enough. You can pick it up from the floor, okay? Do it. Squeeze your body nice and tight. Drive up to a good lockout. Okay, we always remind people this is a good resting spot if you hit failure and try to go touch and go at the bottom, okay? Think about like a bench press, you stop at the lockout and it's down and up, okay? Really try to avoid using the legs, right? So it's just, just arms, so squeeze everything nice and tight for that first barbell movement. From there, we have the bent over row, right? So the bent over row, you need to understand a good, what's called a hip hinge position. So my hips are back, I feel tension in my hamstrings and I'm not rounding my back, right? So I have this nice arch in my back, okay? So when you pick up the bar, it's kind of like starting with a deadlift, right? You can stand up all the way, bend over, feel that position, and row, okay? This is an amazing supplemental pulling strength, back strength. Um, so again, work, challenge yourself here. Try to avoid driving with the legs and try to avoid any rounding of the back, okay? So it's gonna be barbell movement number two. From there, we're gonna go into 40 seconds of plank shoulder tap. So just holding plank, this is really simple. Tap and just be consistent. This one's not super tiring, but it will transfer into challenge because if you're on your hands, this will transfer over into the other stuff, core getting fatigued for the other movements that we're doing, all right? The last movement and final barbell movement is the barbell bicep curl. So we've been doing these every week. Hopefully you're feeling a little stronger. When you do these, try to get full range of motion at the bottom, especially straightening the arm. A lot of people will keep the elbow bent. Okay, but try to work on that full range of motion for that barbell curl, all right? From here, we're going into a workout with three movements. We have running, dumbbell snatches, and handstand push-ups. So dumbbell snatches are really straightforward, okay? Single dumbbell, starting between the feet. We're gonna drive it overhead to lock out, okay? The quickest, most efficient way would be to alternate hands while it's coming down, so you can touch and go off the ground, okay? If it's heavy or you're not comfortable, put it down on the ground, switch here, and then go overhead. Really focus on driving with the legs to start and finishing with the hips, and then accelerating through the middle to a good lockout. Trying not to you know, use your arms too much, really driving with the legs, okay? So that will be the dumbbell snatch. From there we go into handstand push-ups. So one of our more challenging movements that we do, you can start with a pike position handstand push-up. Okay, it's a great variation. As you get better at that, you can elevate your feet on a box or a bench with the same position. Um, and then you can eventually end up against the wall, okay? So against the wall, we can actually do a kipping handstand push-up where you kick up, okay? Lower the top of your head, hips touch the wall, feet come down, loading the body, driving up to a good lockout, okay? Now, if any of these variations are hard for you, the most basic thing you can do is a set of dumbbells, and you can do two things with the dumbbells. You can do a seated Z press, is what it's called, okay? Or if you wanna do a more dynamic, like kipping style handstand push up, you would stand up with it and do a dumbbell push press, okay? So that is our handstand push up variations. That's it for today, guys. See you tomorrow.